Hi, my name is Dr. Justice Devine. I'm a fifth generation healer. I'm a holistic health practitioner. I am the author of The Dark Side of Medicine, a psychohistorical analysis of the spiritual philosophies of indigenous African medicine. I am also the manufacturer of this fine product, uh, the Green Shave Formula. It is a pain reliever, a uh, topical pain reliever for my skincare company, Divine Alchemy. Um, you can find that company um, listed under Malika Divine, M-A-L-I-K-A-H-D-I-V-I-N-E, Malika Divine. <sighs> With that said, in regards to the title doctor, it was a title that was bestowed upon me by a loving friend a retired MD, internal physician at Downstate Medical Center. I am not myself an MD or a PhD. My credentials lie solely in my background as a fifth generation healer. However, I do have some medical training and I have in combination to that, a spiritual background and development which has brought me to a full circle being well-rounded in the practice of holistic medicine. By that I mean I observe both the spiritual and the scientific principles of healing. Again, I repeat, I observe both the spiritual and the scientific principles of healing. Thus my work, The Dark Side of Medicine, a psycho-historical analysis of the spiritual philosophies of indigenous African medicine. I lay a lot of emphasis on indigenous African medicine or Aboriginal African medicine. In my future works, you will hear me speak more about those things. Today, I'd like to talk about immunology. And the reason why I'd like to focus on immunology is because in any healing art, whether it is of an Eastern or Western philosophy, we need to become familiar with the things that the body does in the process of healing. So first by, defini by definition, what is immune? The Greek word for immune is translated as to be safe, excuse me, is defined, not translated, is defined to be safe, protected, or to the ability to defend. That's what immune means. According to Tabor's Medical Encyclopedia Dictionary, the next following thing after the immune sit, uh, after the definition of immune is what is known as the immune complex. And it is very important that we get the context of the idea of the immune complex as opposed to the immune system. And the reason why is because if you think of systems, if you think of circulatory system, the respiratory system, the skeletal system, uh, any of your systems, lymphatic system, any of your systems, we think of them as being centralized, complete, uh, that they work in symmetry with one another as one unit. This is not the case for the immune complex. The immune complex, which we have a tendency to call the immune system, is actually situated in other areas of the body. It can be found in the bone or in the skeletal system. It can be found in the blood, also called the circulatory system. The immune complex is scattered throughout the body, and so therefore it is better or more accurately referred to as an immune response. The next thing that happens in the immune response by definition is what it does when the body is invaded by some form of a foreign pathogen, antigen, bacteria, virus, whatever you may uh, find your body being affected by. These things are countered by the immune response. And the first immune response that we have in our body is the inflammatory response. 
That is, if you get hit in the eye, the eye will swell up. If you get a bump or bruise on the arm, there will be swelling associated with it, your wrist, your ankle, if you fall and twist it. These are the things that happen with the immune response that is the inflammatory response. So inflammation in this case is not bad. It's not the same as having a diabetic inflammation with this water retention around the ankles or something like that. This is the response to an outside injury that the body says swell up, create its own uh, cushioning in between the joint, the muscles, and any further damage or threat to that area of the body. That's basically what the inf inflammation does. Second, after the inflammation response, we have something known as the mucus immune response. And the mucus immune response is the mucus membranes inside the body that are first naturally there. That is not something that is man-made, created, synthetic, or anything of that nature. The mucus immune response is based on the immune complex development of membranes inside the mouth, inside the vagina, inside the ear, inside the rectum, where there's any open cavity to the outside world, that body part will develop a membrane that helps with salivating or making some form of a secretion that will stop pathogens from entering the body there and be able to either help facilitate something to, to move through the body or prevent it from moving from the body. For instance, uh, the vaginal cavity, the vagina, it will make a mucus secretion to help facilitate the movement of sperm further into the uterus and up into the uh, ovaries so that conception may take place. That's not a disease. It should never be a case where we are classifying an immune response with disease. In fact, there are some that say there is only one disease and that it is mucus. Now, if that is the case, if that was the case, then every newborn baby would be diseased because every newborn baby shows what? A mucus immune response. If there is an excess of outside mucus from bovine, uh, contributors, cows, goats, what have you, then the mucus immune response in the body, which is natural, will go to work to create a balance of those outside pathogens because they are foreign to the body and the body interprets that as an attack against itself. However, for those that believe that there is only one disease and that it is mucus, then they need to find the proper definition of what it is that the mucus immune response does for your body. It's very simple. Go to the text. Do not rely on people that tell you they do not read books, but they want to tell you what the immune response complex does, especially the immune mucus response. Read the book. They don't have to read books. They don't want to read books. Let them not read books. But do the intelligent thing that you were educated to do. Read. Ikra is the Arabic. Pick up a book. Read it yourself. Tabor's Medical Encyclopedia Dictionary. It's not a hard thing to do. Furthermore, if we're talking about disease and you say there is only one disease, then please, Offer only one treatment. Do not offer several different bottles of capsuled herbs, plastics as a treatment for different symptoms when you say there is only one disease. If there is only one disease, then please only have one treatment. It makes logical sense, well, at least to those of us who are logical. Furthermore, disease, 
by definition, you cannot call a virus or bacteria disease. We have healthy bacteria inside our bodies.